A recent surge of positive COVID-19 cases across eastern Kentucky has health officials concerned. I had the chance to speak with the director of the Martin County Health Department to find out more regarding COVID-19 guideline compliance and why their COVID-19 incidence rate is among the highest in eastern Kentucky. Well, certainly we're a smaller county, um, so we're, we have a higher percentage, uh, obviously, with even with far fewer cases. We are noticing at this time that it's having a positive impact because people who were saying earlier that they're not wearing masks are beginning to wear masks. People are paying closer attention now that it's hit closer to home, and they've seen that we can have a, a large number of people or a large percentage of people with COVID. The Martin County Health Department, like Pike, Floyd, and other surrounding county health departments, continue to provide updates on numbers to be as transparent as possible with citizens of those counties. Although the numbers they post on a certain day may not reflect the same amount as found on the state's COVID-19 map due to the amount of information the state must process. The best way to inform our population or to address their behavior in terms of wearing masks, social distancing, etc., etc., is to let them know that it is in Martin County. This isn't something that only happens in big cities and that they are putting themselves and their family at risk. Heart and Vascular Institute at Pikeville Medical Center. Together, we save lives. Being in, in contact with someone who is positive for COVID-19 for approximately 15 minutes or more without the use of a mask. That's our, well, that's the state definition of contact. What a lot of people are concerned about is uh, I get a lot of calls saying, I've been in contact with this person who has been in contact with, and there is a secondary contact. That seems to be a big, a big misunderstanding. So those people are safe. Right now, we're, we're looking at 15 minutes without a mask and within six feet. After the county's largest spike of 25 positive cases of yesterday and over the weekend, Ward says that he sees the county staying in the red for a little while longer. Yeah, after, after yesterday's spike, I think it'll be a while before we move out of the red. Yeah, we have 197 positive cases uh, since the start of this uh, COVID-19 concern. We've had 87, we have currently 87 active cases, 107 have recovered, and three have passed away. We're all going to have to follow the guidelines. We have to just make a final stand. This is something we're going to defeat and put everything else to the side until it's gone. So that, that's our, our big point of contention that, that we need to work through. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Jeremy Justice.